Whether you're talking individually or corporately, how do you undertake that journey from meh to yeah? If you're an individual, it doesn't mean that your life's bad, it's just meh. There's no passion, there's no engagement, there's no meaning or only little bits of it here and there. How do you create a whole lot more yeah? For an organization, how do you move from disengagement and presenteeism, for example, is skyrocketing out there. People who are at work, but hello, nobody's home. How do you build engagement? How do you build focus? How do you build productivity and create a culture that is a whole lot more, oh yeah, rather than meh, where it's just where they go to work? Well, there are three simple steps to get to that place. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The most important step in my mind, the foundational piece that really creates that sustainable, yeah, that meaningfulness, that passion is purpose. Do you have clarity of purpose? For an individual, it's what is your sense of why, not what you're doing, but why you're doing it. And with an organization, it's shared purpose. Again, not what you're doing, not about the product or service you deliver, but why, what's the difference that you're making? And the critical thing here is to state that why in simple, plain English. The mistake a lot of organizations get into, and some individuals as well, is instead of talking about in plain English, they get into vision speak and mission speak. You know, all those silly nonsense plaques that a lot of organizations have up about, you know, we strive to be a world-class provider of insert product or service here and workplace of choice and whatever, and such formal, heavy language that, you know, you can tell that it's not being lived, that it means nothing. Employees walk by, it absolutely means nothing, or they roll their eyes at it. Uh, it's, it's, it's pointless and, and, and a waste of time. I'm talking about simple, plain English, and not what you do, but why. On an individual basis, this can be, you know, it can be about, our, you know, is it what gives you passion? Is connecting people? Is it healing? Is it, is it, is, is it creating new things? but it's bringing it down. And it can take a fair bit of work on an individual basis to get to purpose. Uh, when I do purpose coaching or our discovery program, it, it does take a fair chunk of work on, on the individual's part to get there. It's, 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 it's simple, but it, but it takes work together. For an organization, it's a lot easier to get to shared purpose uh, because you start exploring as an organization what is the difference that you're making and so on. And again, to put it in plain English. Our brains work in pictures. So you really need a picture uh, to tell yourself where you're going. Otherwise, you will start to focus on what's happened or what's in the past and that will get you stuck there. So the more you have clarity of vision of where you want to go that is purposeful, that is in line with the purpose, the, the more you can start to build the strategy there. Whether you're talking individually or corporately, your vision uh, is something that's aspirational. You may not, uh, you know, it may take a lot to get there. It may take years to get there. Perhaps you might not even, but at least you're moving in that direction. So you may have a five or 10 year vision, then you build a three year plan to start moving towards it. It gives you direction, right? And that, that's the thing, you really need to be able to see how it's contributing and how it's making your purpose come to life. Then once you've done that, the vision from the vision, then you get to building a strategy, whether it's a personal plan or it's a corporate strategy. The, the next piece then that truly creates the yeah, because if you're always sitting about the plan and thinking and analyzing and have I gotten there or not, you're not living the journey. It is not the goal. It's not the vision that counts. It is that journey. It's every single moment, whether it's individually or for an organization, for all the people. And the last step is 
mindfulness and that is living the journey. If you're not living the journey, it is all pointless. You are not on purpose. You're not feeling the purpose. You're not experiencing it. The vision comes from all the work that it took you to get there. And it's the mindfulness of being in that moment to live there. And that's where the creativity comes from. That's where the opportunities come from. You unlock huge potential in your mind. Now, as I said, here is a, you can think of these as linear steps to take, and that is true for an organization. I'll often, when I'm doing strat planning, we will start with the purpose and then the vision before we build the strategy, because this shapes it all. And then once we have the strategies about, okay, how can you be present with each other, living this journey and making it uh, more fulfilling? For an organization, that, that works very well. For an individual as well, absolutely it works. But not everyone is ready to do the level of work it takes to get to purpose. So think about it this way. Being able to create a vision and realize it, being able to be mindful, those are skills. You can develop those skill sets. And then once you do connect with purpose, you apply them to build a purposeful vision and to live the journey. But on an individual basis, you can start anywhere. This, as I say, takes a fair bit. In our personal leadership programs, this is sort of the pinnacle program that, that you get to. It, learning how to shape a vision and how to live more intentionally, that's a skill set. You can do that without the clarity of purpose, with things that are still meaningful, and build that ability mindfulness, living that journey, getting out of your monkey mind, getting out of mindlessness where you're just doing things by rote and not truly understanding it. You can build that ability, build that skill without these other elements. But once you have those skills, you add purpose to it, boom, you take off. So what you've got to decide for yourself right now for you, Where's your skill set? Whether you're talking as a leader in terms of mindfulness or individual, where's your skill set in building a vision, whether it's a personal vision or a corporate shared vision? And what clarity of purpose do you have individually, corporately? Which step do you need to work on right now?